everybody. Um, I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, today, what I'm going to do with you is talk you through how to create some crafts all to do with this week's theme which is our lovely butterflies. So we're gonna make some crafts that not only are really fun to make, really pretty, but they're also gonna be actually helpful for these creatures. We wanna make sure that there are still lots of butterflies um, from today's population. So we want to make sure we can help to conserve them and look after them. We talked a little bit about already ways of looking after them. Things like putting out those flat stones for them to rest on, planting lots of lovely flowers but here's a few kind of extra ways that we can look after them. The first one that I'd like to show you is creating a nice and easy, nice and simple butterfly feeding plate. So if you've been to zoos and things like that and you've been in butterfly houses before you might have seen that they leave out brightly coloured dishes with fruit in them, sometimes bits of banana and orange, things like this. So what we're going to do is make our own version of that. So what we're going to have is basically your paper plate suspended by some string, but it's nice to have it patterned with lots of different colours and things. And I'm going to show you a way that you can make it even kind of more alluring and appealing for our butterflies. We know they like really bright colours, so that's important. Now I did say um, on the craft list, the things that you would need to carry this out is a paper plate, like this one here. You would also need some scissors, okay? So we're gonna be nice and careful using these today. Um, you can also use either a glue stick or some cello tape. And you're also going to need some string to tie it all together um, and some felt pens to make it nice and colourful. And for our extra um, bit of decoration for it, you can also use some brightly coloured card like this stuff that I've got here, okay? So the first step that you're going to do um, is the bit that you might need a little bit of help with, make sure you're being nice and careful, is we've got our paper plate, but we need to create four holes in it just like this on opposite sides, okay? Um, so you can use very carefully um, some scissors to create this hole or you can use a sharp pencil to pierce the hole through Okay, and then that should give you your four holes. So make sure they look like this all on opposite sides Okay, now the next part we've got our basic setter. We need to make it nice and bright and colorful So you can do this however way you like. There's no right or wrong way to do it So on this one I decided to draw lots of pictures of different flowers on there to try and appeal as a little bee there and a little butterfly but there's no right or wrong way to do it so for this one that i'm making along with you here i might just do some nice big swirls and some stars and some patterns like that so maybe i'll do some kind of swirly patterns like this in a nice bright pink color and um, you can use colouring pencils as well or you could use paint if you wanted to colour it in completely whatever you feel like doing is absolutely fine I'm going to put another layer of swirl on here in an orangey colour as well just to add a bit more colour to it as long as it's nice and bright then that's what's going to appeal to our butterflies I think maybe I'll add a little bit of pink perhaps going around the outside of my plate as well and you can spend some time making this really kind of detailed with lots of pretty pictures on it or you can just make a nice simple one that's got some bright colours on it and like I say if you do decide to use some paint to make it completely different colour then um, just wait a little while for it to dry after you've done that before you carry on with the next few steps to make your butterfly plate okay so I've got some colours on there I think that'll do for the time being so I've got some swirls and pretty patterns what I'm going to do now for our next bit to make it even more kind of special looking is using the card that you've got on your card trace out some petals so that you end up with around six or so petals if you can see that on there so if you've got about six or so kind of petal shapes along your card and then cut those out be nice to have some lots of different colours, but that's okay if you don't have different ones. You can always just use the same colour so that eventually you've got lots of kind of petals that look like this 
what we can do with these is then add them to our plate to make it look like a lovely big flower opening up and inviting our um, butterflies in to feed on them okay so the way you can do this is you can attach them to the outer edge of the plate now you can either use sellotape or you can use glue whatever seems to work best for you okay so I'm going to do it on the one that I prepared earlier so I'm going to take some of my glue stick okay I'm going to pop some on the side of the petal about halfway half of the petal I'm going to cover in glue okay and then I'm going to take my petal and I'm going to stick it just on the edge of my plate like this. So we've got some lovely nice petals going on here. Okay, so we can carry on doing that. If that seems to be sticking okay, then carry on with the glue. If not, you can always add a bit of sellotape as well to give it a bit of extra stability there. Okay, so I'm going to keep going all the way around my plate, making sure that it's nice and bright and appealing for my butterflies. So you can keep going round until the entire plate is covered with those beautiful petals, okay? Okay, so you should carry on sticking around the edges of your plate, your petals that you've cut out, till eventually you get something a bit like this. So you should end up with petals the whole way around. And like I said before, it doesn't need to be all different colours, it can be one colour, however you would like to do it. Okay, so at this point now you should have your plate decorated nicely with your, with your own colouring and you should have the four holes in it and you should have the petals. It's almost ready to go. All right, the next thing you need to do is you need to cut two pieces of string that are equal length. Okay, they should be about this long. So if you stretch your arms out in front of you, should be about this long between them, okay? So two that are the same length. Now you're going to take one piece of string and you're going to thread it through the hole, okay? So you're going to go down through the hole. So pick one, pick a hole to start with, you're going to thread through to the other side, this can be a little bit fiddly, and then once it comes out the other side, you're going to go through the opposite hole. So I've gone through this one up here, so I'm going to go back through this one down here. So I'm going to go straight across with my string, and I'm going to go through the hole on this side here. All right, okay, and then I'm going to pull it through. So what I've got in the end is my plate with two strings through. What it'll do is it'll probably flop that way so it's not facing the right way. Don't worry about that. What you want to do now is try and pull the strings through through about the same length, but don't worry if that changes because you can always adjust it anyway, which is what's really nice about this method. What I'd like you to do now is to take the two pieces of string and tie them together in a little knot, okay? So just a nice and easy knot, doesn't need to be anything special, just to keep them together, all right? So it looks a bit like this, this point. You're gonna take the other piece of string that you cut, all right? And you're gonna do the exact same thing again. So I'm going to go in on this side here, so my coloured side up, I'm going to go in on this side, then I'm going to go through around the back, and I'm gonna go back in on the opposite side Get that other string out of the way and through the other one so that we've got a, a cross across the back of string. I'm going to go through on the back side now. There we go. And exactly the same again. I'm going to tie a knot in the two. So I'm going to pull them up so they're about equal, about the same, and I'm going to tie a knot here. Okay, the next thing I can do now that I've got two bits of string with knots tied is I can tie those two together. Okay, so I've got my two knots, put the knots together and just tie them into one big super knot. There we go, pull those through and then you've got one big knot. Okay, and now if your if your plate is still tilting, you can just pull it through. You can adjust it 
so that it's always nice and equal. So this would be one if you decided not to add petals to it, but the one that I've added my petals to ends up looking a bit like this. All right, so for a butterfly, this looks like a nice, big, appealing flower for them to come down to and to drink from. Now, this is the part where your fruit comes in. So what you're going to do is try and use fruit that is maybe past its best before date. It's starting to go a little bit mushy. That's the stuff that's really good for butterflies. And it allows them to stick out that long proboscis tongue into the into the fruit and they can get the sugar from it that they need. So a bit more energy for them. So you'll chop up the fruit into pieces if you can and lay it on to your plate and then hang your plate out somewhere in the garden. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a second. So next you want to pick a spot in your garden that you know gets plenty of sunlight and is nice and sheltered, that kind of spot that you know that the butterflies will enjoy. So I've picked this spot here where I've already got lots of flowers around me and I've just hung my butterfly feeder onto a little post here that's got a little hook. You can, of course, hang it onto anything that will hold it. You could hang it onto some tree branches or any kind of sticks that you have in the garden. And I've used raspberries here because they're nice and sweet and we'll bring them in. However, you could use chopped up oranges, bananas, apples or anything that's kind of nice and sugary and starting to go a little bit mushy. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing your pictures of your creations and please send me any pictures you've got of butterflies also enjoying our lovely treats.